we're happy to welcome Robert Kowalski back with us, the author of the eight-week cholesterol cure, the new eight-week cholesterol cure. Could you tell us a little bit about plant sterols, what they are, and how they fit into this whole equation? Oh, Lyle. It's one of the reasons that there is a new eight-week cholesterol new. cure, as a matter of fact. That's one of the things that I told my publisher when I said, I got to rewrite this book, not edit it, not revise it, do a complete rewrite, because I want a whole chapter that I'm going to call how to block the cholesterol in the foods that you love to, to eat. Block the how to block the cholesterol from ever getting into your bloodstream. They're just, just as all animal tissue, you, me, the foods we eat, all animals have cholesterol in the tissues. Mm -hmm. uh, can't live without it. In the same way, in the plant kingdom, there is a counterpart called phytosterols or plant sterols. Cholesterol is an animal sterol. In plants, we have the plant sterols. They are virtually identical in terms of a molecular structure. Really? Just one little, little difference. If you were to look at the molecular structures, which I actually put into the book so people can see the similarities. They're so similar, Lyle, that the human body can't tell the difference either. So if you take these sterols at about the time that you're eating a meal, especially, the body perceives those plant sterols as being cholesterol. They're taken into the little receptor sites, specialized cells called micelles, in the first third of the digestive uh -huh. tract. They, the body takes those into the receptor sites, and th those sites are limited. So once they're filled, they're filled. It's like how many rooms in the Holiday Inn? Isn't that interesting? Once they're filled, there is no room for cholesterol anymore. So when you eat foods with cholesterol, out it goes the other end. We can take it in a couple of different ways. One is with our meals at the beginning of a meal uh, as supplements, simple couple of tablets. For 10 years, I never ate a single egg yolk from 1984 to 1994 when I started reading and learning about the plant sterols. And I started experimenting. There was no product on the market at that point in time, nothing. So I had to literally have a friend of mine in the um, supplement industry order some, especially from Japan, so I could experiment with it. I put it into little gel gelatin capsules and started taking it myself and found that it, I, I could eat all the eggs that I wanted to. In fact, it, it not only did not raise the LDL, the bad cholesterol, it actually raised the level of the good cholesterol. So my, my lipid profile, as they call it, my cholesterol picture was improved now that I was eating eggs and those kinds of foods, shrimp, all the other foods are particularly rich in cholesterol. Today, sterols are still available as supplements, and I carry a little packet of them along with me, especially when I go to breakfast on a weekend with my buddies before going off on the golf course. We'll have breakfast together, and it's so nice now, instead of having an egg white omelet, to have a couple of eggs over easy, or an, uh, whatever it happens to be. What do we look for when we go to the health food store? Health food store, I would understand. Is sure, where you would go. they have it. They have it. Also Plant on sterols, the and literally what they do is they fill the receptors. Mm -hmm. You can have, I eat eggs every other day because mm -hmm. I feel they're important to me. Mm -hmm. I don't take plant sterols. I'm going to look into it now. I mean, that sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Oh, it's amazing. I'll tell you, it, it, at first, it sounds too good to be true. That's, that's the first response that people have. Oh, come on, that's snake oil. How, how can that happen? 1,500 papers have been written and published in the medical literature on this. Wow. 1,500 showing total safety because it never gets into the bloodstream, you see. So it stays in the dig digestive tract, stays in the, so those receptor sites. It's estimated an hour to an hour and a half. Then they, the, the, the body, in a way, says, wait a second, this isn't cholesterol. <laughs> in effect, those little receptor sites spit it out, and out it goes the other end. So it never gets into the bloodstream, so there's no chance of side effects. And you do this on a regular basis, you will lower your cholesterol by up to 10% for total cholesterol and LDL up to 14%. I hope that all of you cardiologists and all of you family doctors that are listening to this right now look more into that concept and 
tell your patients. In an issue of Circulation, which is the official publication of the American Heart Association, they have a position statement, an advisory to, to cardiologists, urging the use of the plant sterols in 1997. That was years ago, and they haven't caught up yet. The good news, beyond the, the, the supplements, we now see foods in the supermarket, not just the specialty stores and so forth, uh, and, uh, the, the, where, the, where they sell only the organic foods and so on, but rather across the board. You can now buy Minute Made, and they label it HeartWise orange juice, fortified with these plant sterols to have with breakfast. They'll lower your cholesterol. The tests have been shown, done, two, two separate clinical studies, University of California at the uh, Davis Medical Center, showing that people who just consume the orange juice, a lot of it, frankly, they had two glasses of, two eight ounce glasses a day, which is more than you or I would want, but it lowered their cholesterol in that kind of uh, magnitude. There are other products as well. There are and I don't work for any of these companies. I should tell you this right off the bat. I have no interest in them whatsoever. However, there, Nature Valley has a granola bar called Healthy Heart. There is a non-fat milk that's available in supermarkets across the country called Active Lifestyle. Uh, there are cereals, hot and cold, made by Health Valley, laced with these uh, plant sterols. If you use the supplements, uh, when you're out on vacation, in restaurants, before a meal that's particularly rich in, the, in cholesterol, and then on a regular basis, my gosh, it costs no more to buy the orange juice that's fortified or any of these other foods, no extra cost, as compared to the margarines that, um, the margarines also have uh, uh, these plant sterols, but they're, number one, we don't need the extra fat, we don't need the extra calories, we don't always have those, uh, have margarine with every meal of the day. Uh, and, and so, um, I take hot dogs. You're not going to put margarine on a hot dog. You put mustard on a hot dog. But you can wash it down with a glass of the orange juice or with a glass of milk. And get the, get the level of the plant sterols up to the point that they are constantly competing with the cholesterol to prevent that from going into the bloodstream and getting you that nice cholesterol reduction. Easy think, thing to do. I think we both agree everyone needs to learn more about that subject and be an educated consumer. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.